and detangling length check because guess what it's been two years since i've been chopped so um i'd already started my hair looking all sorts of wild uh so i just thought you know let me just come on and do a a, a little bit of my detangling so my hair i washed my hair today and i deep condition and i don't really like the deep conditioner that i use i'll talk about that another time but um i put some affigy leave-in treatment it's a protein treatment and i used the curl junkie smoothing lotion i guess on top of that mainly as a detangler and i just sort of loosely loosely finger comb my hair um very very loose it was really just getting rid of shed hair more than finger combing and i let my hair um just out loose and just air dry a bit so now it's only barely damp and i did this simply because i want my hair to be dry for tomorrow um I, and i didn't want to take it out when it was damp so anyway so that's what is going continuing so let me try and do a length check of this bit you know when you feel like your hair is just not growing i don't know it just feels like it's not growing much so that's where it is that bit well sort of hair now okay um That's weird. It's actually bra strap length for me. Anyway, so as I said, my hair is already, my hair is damp. It's already got the leave-in treatment and everything, so I'm not putting anything else in it. Um, and I know I don't finger detangle anymore because it takes a lot longer for me. And I end up with a lot of shoulder pains and arm pains and all of that type of stuff. So I'm using my white tooth comb and then uh, I kind of go back with a finer tooth comb, not a very fine tooth comb, just to make sure that it's detangled, especially at the roots and at the ends. Okay. And then today I am setting with my Camille Rose Naturals Almond Jai Twisting Butter. Distribute that through. So this is how I normally set my hair and I do a sort of smoothing motion and that helps to get rid of any shed hair as well. And I'd already put in an oil. When I put in um, the leave-in conditioner before the curl junkie smoothing motion, I use my Numa from the Good Hair Shop Lock and Define Pomade. That's the, the cover. Yeah. Um, and I put that all over it, let my hair air dry. I was going to do uh, braids as opposed to twists. When I do braids, it takes longer to dry. So I'm just braiding it now. And I think I might only do a couple more on camera now. And then I'm going to go. Okay, so I braid it maybe three quarter way down. And then I split it in two and twist the ends. And when I get to the end, then I'm just going to twirl just so it gives it a little bit more definition because I'm not going to put any, um, what you call it, any perm rods in it. So, right, I'll do a bit more, a couple more length check, like in the front and maybe the middle as I go along um, after I do this one. Okay. So, this is normally how I detangle every week, even if it's wetter than this. Um, I do the ends first with my white tooth comb, and I really do try to be gentle. Sometimes, I just can't be bothered. Um, I go from the roots and I feel a little bit of um, resistance there. Resistance. I don't just comb it through. I just keep going from the roots. 
come down to the point of the resistance stop and then I gently loosen that knot. Okay, and then I go back with my finer tooth comb, not fine, fine tooth, and I just make sure the same thing. Yes, I go from the root. When I get to the air of resistance, I stop, but I just comb through, and then, and then I can go all the way through, and that's detangled. Finger detangling for me worked, but it took a very, very long time um, because I tried to use smaller section because the smaller section you use for finger detangling, um, the more effective I found it to be. And I did, I managed to um, detangle from root to tip. That was fine, but it's just, it just took too much out of me. And um, yeah, I decided to stop. And it's, it's light, uh, it does, it does last, the scent does last, it doesn't um, go away altogether, but as I said, it's not overpowering at all. I'm just going to take my oil, my pomade, and just apply it to the ends. Um, so I bring it three quarter way down and I've just split it into two. I'm just twirling the end. So, anyway. So, I, the front has definitely grown. See, goes right under my chin now. Um, you do a bit of the sides, the sides always take longer, but actually, it does come down definitely way below my collarbone, like, I guess, armpit sort of almost kind of, sort of, kind of. And just in the middle, the crown area. <laughs> Not done for this one. But I should probably try and do the tape measuring thing. But so, if anything else, I'll try and come on and show what the the braid out looks like tomorrow. Um, but for now, that's it. Hey guys, I put it up into a bun, right? So you can't even really see definition. I might just take it down. I might just take it down. So, yeah. Tell you. I want to show you just the, the definition that it gives. And it gives such a nice, soft, hold. It. See? Look at the back. show kind of quickly how I do my bun it's it's like how anybody else does their bun I guess and just try to smooth smooth it up into that direction that I want it and I'm using my outless headband from Goody okay so I'm, I just put it right just past the edge just there at the front and then the back of it that's what I that's what I bring up gently. I have no snags when I'm doing that. And I bring it as far up to the front as I can. And then I just take bits of my hair. No particular way. Um, and tuck and pin. Nothing really formed, and every time I do it, it looks a little bit different. Pin that part. And I have my little pin flower in, so I'm going to put that back here. Right, and that's. 